I seen another somebody before they was a who they are now today and that person is What is up y'all? It is your girl Christian Danielle and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, a welcome and if you are returning, you already know y'all are the real MVPs and whether you are new or returning, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, click the bell and all of that so we can run these numbers up. So you guys, guess what? <laughs> Your girl has gone back to her roots. Y'all already know I am the queen of the vacations, queen of the staycations, and queen of the daycations. And today we got a daycation going up. I am in Calabasas right now. Calabasas, you know, over there we're drinking them stay, okay? 30 minutes from LA. That is way out okay yes we are in calabasas i just pulled up to the hotel i'm about to go check in we're staying at the hilton garden in um i'm staying here because ray and i are actually going to a show tonight the show actually is in santa barbara santa barbara is about an hour away from here we chose to stay here originally we did have a hotel in santa barbara but the hotels in santa barbara are far and very expensive plus we decided to stay over here, which is an hour out, because this hotel makes more sense for all of the things that we have to do tomorrow. So that's why we chose to stay here. Ray has to go somewhere and I have to do some things. So yeah, this hotel just made more sense. We drove two separate cars, which is why he's not in the car with me. I'm by myself. He's actually on his way right now. I can see him on the map. He should be turning in any second. But like I said, we are going to see a show today. If you follow me on Instagram, y'all know I have been talking about this artist like so much lately because he's literally one of my favorite artists right now i discovered him on spotify y'all if you have spotify just put it on a radio station pick an artist put it on that specific music radio because you will discover some new people and i discovered jameson aka jmsn and y'all I'm here for him. We are going to see him tonight. I'm about to go check into this hotel and I'll talk to you guys more about that once we check in. This is the hotel. Look at the palm trees. Y'all know I love some palm trees. Waterfall. Hello, Ray. How are you doing? Why, well, hello, Christian. How are you doing? I'm very well. So, we already checked in and everything already, but we went to go eat, so, yeah. yeah. All right, y'all, so we are now in the room. This is a room, just a regular, regular little, little schmegular hotel. And let's look outside. See, we are right here by the pool. It's a pretty view, because, you know, it is Calabasas. Pretty cute, but like I said, just a regular little hotel. Got a bed, a chair, TV. It has this nice uh, long mirror. Y'all know I love mirrors. I am va uh, vacuuming. I am ironing my shirt, raising the shower. And then it has like this little microwave and coffee maker. Microwave's kind of good because lately these hotels been tripping. They don't have no microwaves or nothing, but yeah, it's just like a little regular room, but it is a nice regular room, but it is Calabasas, so it's going to be an overly nice regular room because you can have a regular room, but it ain't so nice. But this is a really, really, really nice regular room. But we are just getting ready right now. Of course, we got to get ready sooner than later. It's literally, I think it is, it's 4.53. The show starts at 8. But like I said, it's in Santa Barbara, which is only an hour away. But the traffic, California traffic, y'all. Traffic in California is ridiculous. Like, it's way ridiculous. It's always been bad. But lately, since the pandy, the traffic been out of control. So right now, the traffic is, I believe it said it's an hour and 37 minutes to get there. But when I looked it up in the middle of the night, it literally said it was like maybe 55 minutes. So it's really a 55 minute drive. 
but right now because the traffic is turning it into an hour and almost 40 minute drive just to get to santa barbara so we're gonna leave a little bit early so that we can at least get there by seven so if there's a line we can wait in line so yeah this traffic is just ugh, it's all over the place but anyhow like i said before we are about to go see jameson if you just look up his name it's j-m-s-n and if you don't know that's what it says you'll think it's j-m-s-n but if you don't know how to pronounce it it is jameson and i'm super excited to go see him like i said if you've been following me on instagram y'all know i've been promoting him i've been talking about him i've been posting all his songs on my page because he is absolutely amazing and i'm super excited to go see this concert simply because i feel like after this moment here like for instance, our tickets for both of us was $50. Who are you seeing for $50? You're not seeing nobody. You're seeing somebody who then fell off for $50. And because he's up and coming, that's why we're able to go see him in this intimate setting, in this small setting, because he's still rising. But I feel like after this particular time frame, we're not going to be able to see this man for no $25 per ticket. We That's just not going to happen because what's going to happen is he's going to blow up. And the only thing left for him to do is go up. Because he is an amazing, 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 amazing artist with nothing but, you know, stadiums and uh, sold out staple centers in his future. Okay? Point blank in the period. This reminds me of when, like back in the day, day, like way back in the day, I seen another somebody before they was a who they are now today, and that person is Mr. J. Cole. Years ago, many, 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 many years ago, I uh, I had a chance to see J. Cole, just like I'm seeing Jameson right now, before he was the J. Cole that we know today. Um, this was a long time ago this had to be over 10 years ago and we seen him at this like little spot in newport beach in a strip mall i forgot what the name of the place is but it was like same scenario same situation like bar grill restaurant or whatever and it was at the top of a strip mall like a club in the strip mall and we saw j cole for i think it was like 15 20 dollars you are not I repeat, you are not seeing J. Cole for no $15, $20 now. Matter of fact, J. Cole is about to be down the street from the crib in a few weeks. And we looked up the tickets and tickets like $500 to get in there. So that's what I'm saying. Get If you found a new artist, you discovered a new artist, you ran across somebody who is on the up and coming and you know they're super talented and the only place for them to go is up and you found them when you know like they still do an intimate settings or they're just getting started yo go see them and if you know they got any level of talent make sure you go and see them because that might be your one opportunity only opportunity to see them for that price again that's why we are going to see jameson today because after this particular like i said time frame he ain't going nowhere but up because he is so talented so great just you know just look him up i want y'all to look him up but i don't want y'all to look him up because i want to keep him for myself but that ain't gonna happen because he's too talented <laughs> so let me get ready because we gotta go soon and very soon because this traffic is out here popping so i'll see you guys in a few all right so we are ready it is time to go i just got this little outfit on as you can see here just have my little jean jacket my little turtleneck crop top some jeans my shoes and my purse so let's go i don't even drink red bulls but shout out to the people who are about to be up past their bedtime because y'all know i'm gonna sleep at eight o'clock Red Bull it is.
next day just woke up um i'm by myself ray left he had to leave at like four o'clock in the morning we went to the show last night and we saw the show he slept in the car on the way back to the hotel got up at four because you know he has some obligations and stuff that he does for a living so he had to leave um at like four but now i'm here just chilling it is um 8 32 in the mountain yeah i'm about to just chill until 12 i think the checkout is at noon here so i'm about to just chill i'm watching uh, my lottery dream home right now i absolutely love this show i just think it's so interesting to see how people won the lottery but um last night was dope i told y'all jameson is the okay and there was a girl that was performing she is super dope i think her name is malia malia it's spelled let me look at my instagram yes malia malia vibes yo this girl right here she is a fire you see it malia vibes she is dope super dope y'all i love you know discovering people that are not on the radio or finding out about people who are not on the radio people on the radio ugh, the radio need to switch it up but these new artists or up and coming artists they be dope y'all like dope dope if you follow me on instagram you see me post her she is like amazing and of course jameson jameson did his thing we got the dance moves he is with the dance y'all know that's one of my favorite things about him is his dance moves if you watch any of his videos his dance moves be on boy and i love it but um yeah i'm gonna here i'm gonna insert a little some clips from last night like right here and try not to get copyright so it may not be long it may be long whatever the case may be i'm a i'm gonna do it so i don't get you know a copyright scam but here's some clips from last night to start going to just like intimate small intimate events like this like a lot more like a lot more because it's just i don't know it's a vibe when you're in there it's just such a vibe but super great show last night shout out to jameson shout out to malia if you don't know about either one of them go learn about them because they don't but um yeah now like i said i'm just laying here i am getting hungry i'm probably gonna google what is to eat around here because the calabasas commons is um in walking distance from here and i think they have a few restaurants over there so i might get up in just a little bit walk down there and go get me something to eat come back chill for a little bit and then head out so let me get up because your girl i will stay in this bed forever this is bad. I need a new bed because this bed is fire. I'm about to look and see what mattress they got up underneath here. Because this mattress, I'm going to need to get one, okay? But, um, yeah, let me get up. Start starting. Uh, 
what could be of the day. Finished watching this show. I think this lady on Lottery Dream Home about to, uh, she about to buy some nuts. So, I'm going to finish watching this, find something to eat, and uh, when we figure that out, I'll see y'all then. Y'all, I found some food for breakfast, but um, should I be fat? Because I smooth forgot. <laughs> I smooth forgot that Ray brought me. Look at what he brought me. Oh, is it stuck? It's stuck. Well, I messed it up. But Ray brought me this cake. Should I just eat this cake for breakfast? Is that too fat? I don't know. I think that's too fat. Because your girl is trying to lose weight. But this cake is looking righteous right now. I don't know. I'm going to have to eat that instead of going to get breakfast. But I don't know. Because my waistline this morning is kind of small. Although it's been real big over the last couple of days. So... I don't know. Should I eat this cake? Comment below. Should I eat this cake or should I go get breakfast? I don't know. I think that's too bad. I can't eat this cake. All right, y'all. So there was absolutely no way I was about to eat cake for breakfast. <laughs> so I did order some food from this Marmalade Cafe from the Commons at Calabasas, which is a walking distance. It's literally right there. The hotel is up there. I just came down from the stairs over there. But I couldn't record from over there because the man who is maintaining the grass around here is all extra loud. Y'all know every single time I decide to record, people want to be loud all around me. That seems to be the story of my life. But yes, I'm just walking down here to the commons of Calabasas. And I'm going to go pick up my food from the Marmalade Cafe. Say. so you'll see more of the comments when we get there it's a cute like little shopping center has like these little bridges and stuff with um fish and stuff i've been here before so you'll see that when we get there let's see this is a little shopping center i was talking about look how cute it is Perfect place to take pictures, all right here. More shops up there. So look at all of the little situations we got going on over here. This is here, right? the food so now it is time to head back to the hotel right up there got my fake crocs on <laughs> y'all i bought these shoes they look like crocs but they not but they comfortable all right get back up these stairs Ooh, lord have mercy Ooh. It was only a six minute walk, but your girl is tired. Super tired. Let's get back up in here, because now I'm tired and hungry. But back at the hotel, see the sign up there, Hilton Garden Inn, such a cute hotel. If y'all wanna stay here, do so. It's cute. Hilton Garden Inn, call All right, I'm back. Got my food here. Let's see what I got. We gonna see how Calabasas is. Okay, as you can see right here, I got 
the bacon, cheddar, and arugula grits and eggs. So we're going to see how Calabasas does grits, okay? Because, you know, we used to Waffle House. <laughs> Waffle House grits fire. But we're going to see how Calabasas do with their grits and eggs. This is my plate right here. Don't look too shabby. I believe the grits got to be on the bottom. Let me see, because I got scrambled eggs instead of poached eggs. So I got scrambled eggs with cheese, English muffin. It comes with these potatoes. And yes, the grits. Let's see, the grits are on the bottom there. Let me see all the cheese and stuff. Arugula, it's arugula and bacon and the grits. It look good. But we see, let's see if it tastes good. And I got this orange juice from downstairs for free because they were charging um, $16.95 for breakfast down there. And I don't know, it was just regular breakfast. I asked him how much for the orange juice. He said, just take it. So I got free orange juice because Marmalade Cafe was charging $6 for orange juice. And I just got some orange juice for free. But yes, we have our breakfast here. So then they gave me some orange marmalade. Yo, I should have I should have looked in here because you know I like strawberry. We gonna see how this do. We got some butter, ketchup, and then of course, you know, California always going green. So we have some potato wear. So I'm assuming this is not plastic. It looked like plastic, but it's not. It's a potato wear. Wear the solution, not the pollution. Cutlery bag, napkins are bio based. www.earthtogo.com. So, wanna be a earth friendly? You got a business? Earthtogo.com. Get you some potato wear. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna see how they do. All right, Calabasas. Y'all gotta have it together. The eggs are good. Let's we'll see what these grits is tasting like. So the grits have arugula and cheese and bacon in it. Hmm. It's kind of good. I like it. Marmalade Cafe. Y'all get a thumbs up. So I did put a little of this orange marmalade on here. On my English muffin. Let's see. How it tastes. Mm. We need strawberry jelly, but I only put it on one piece. I got a whole piece right here just for butter. I'm gonna eat this because I don't waste food, but I could use some strawberry. I am about to go to the mall, the Westfield Topanga Plaza. And y'all, I have literally been driving around this mall for about 10 minutes trying to find a parking space because there is so many people. I just got literally reminded why I do not want to live in any parts of LA in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Especially Woodland Hills up here because it's a bunch of rich, bougie, rude, very rude people okay like it's okay to be rich but it's not okay to be rude and bougie okay <laughs> but uh let me find a parking space before i go off on somebody because somebody about to get it so i'm back just got home took me like two hours to get here mad traffic california traffic y'all turned an hour into two and that's basically what happened it was just crazy at the mall that's why i didn't vlog anything at the mall but uh westfield topanga plaza is a nice mall it's just you got to deal with all the crazy that's in the mall plus it is saturday so i get it but whatever but i am home now had a good time had a great time concert was definitely worth it if you guys you know scrolling through your little spotify playlist and you find the artist 
that's up and coming still not at the grand scheme of things just yet but you know they on their way make sure you go check them out because i had an amazing time at that concert and now malia is one of my new favorite artists as well as jameson so yeah but anyhow that's it that's all i'm all the way done i'm about to go take a shower lay it down and get back to regular life because your girl got to go to work tomorrow so i will see you guys in the next vlog thank you so very much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe share all of that as i always say and i will catch y'all later bye